महादेव महादेव योगन मुक्तिमाप्नोति द्वाभ्याम शंभूरिणी भाग ऑडिबल एट दी फादर्स नॉट ऑडिबल देन प्लीज मेडिटेट महादेव 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 दिस इज अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ओंकार ऑडिबल देर ऑडिबल एट द फास्ट देर डू आई नीड टू स्पीक मोर लाउडली प्लीज डोंट स्पीक मोर लाउडली देन दिस ओ पूर्व यो वै वेदाश्च प्रहिणोति तस्म तम हेवुद्धि प्रकाशम मुमुक्षुर्व शरणमह प्रपद्ये ओ शाति 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 ओ नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्य ब्रह्म विद्यासंप्रदायकृभ्यो वंशेभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्यापत्लवरिता प्रज्ञान घन प्रत्यगर्भो ब्रह्मस्मी ब्रह्मस्मी ओ वेदाताभासकाय गुरव शाता संसी ने नानावादीलगेन्द्र संगपव योगींद्र वंद्या मोहद्वाय भगवत्दाभिधते तस्म भाष्यकृते नमोस्त सतत पूर्णा बोधात्मने वि महालक्ष्मी हेड सेट द कंडीशंस टू चूज अ ग्रूम फॉर हर सेल्फ the person that she chose to marry she had a list of conditions it is still not audible properly right it's audible yes audible as it is you know we will have to carry on because very soon you are going to be hungry or you must be already i can't keep you hungry more than that so the only one who could sit fit into that description is bhagwan narayan and she says the one whom i desire doesn't desire me na me kamshati and when i look at people all around whether they are the celestial beings or the mortals of this martya lok people are eagerly waiting so that i can choose them but there is this one 
who has every essential quality that I have been looking for, Sarvaguna Sampanna. Nami Kamshati, he doesn't desire me. But then she says, I will still marry him. Success, wealth, every form of prosperity will follow you, not just by you desiring it. And that's why in English they have the saying, if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. If just by wishing you could get something, then everybody would get everything over here. That is not true. For this prosperity, for the wealth, to choose you, you will have to find yourself having become competent, having become qualified. And when you have that qualification, whether you desire it or not, success and wealth, prosperity, etc. will naturally follow you. This is the rule of the game. Because if something falls in your hands, without you being qualified, without a person being qualified for it, it can be a dangerous affair. Somebody gets power, wealth, without being qualified for it. Not only the person will destroy the world around him, but he will destroy himself. It is a double-edged sword and therefore one has to be very careful. Bhagavati Lakshmi emerges out of Samudra and she puts that garland around Bhagavan Narayana saying that I have chosen my groom. And the beautiful thing about this is just over there in two shlokas, two verses. And those verses say, though Narayana is not somebody who hankers for prosperity, wealth, pleasures or anything, yet when Mahalakshmi chooses him, he gives her a place right in his chest, in his heart. That's why you see Mahalakshmi's emblem on Tirupati's chest too. Inseparable in Shivalinga, the base is Parvati and the top is Shiva, inseparable. She chooses, and when she chooses, he respects and gives her a place which is inseparable from him. Hridaya Krita Divasa. So she is the one who goes and stays, abides, resides in the heart of Narayana. I will go through this prasanga on the last day. I was talking to Swarashi Yama when we have the mother installed where she has to be. I will bring the shlokas to you once again. But we will proceed ahead now. <coughs> Bhagavatam says, Shri Svapraja Sakarune Na Nirikshanena Yatra Sthika Aibhayata Sadipatim Strilokan then when she found the right place to stay, 
she cast her eyes now on the entire world, everyone over there, and how Satarunena with compassion, compassionately she looks at everyone, and just by her glance, all the Lokadhipatis, various Lokas, various worlds, of the celestial beings, mortals, everything, I Dhyata. And suddenly over there, there is prosperity, opulence. Opulence and splendor rise over there just by her casting the glance. Shriya Virokita Devaha Sapraja Pataya Prajaha Shila Diguna Sampannaha what has happened? What do you mean by that prosperity? What do you mean by that opulence? The splendor of the world? Has risen. And here he says, Shiladi guna sampanna. Sampanna means prosperous, there is surplus, just having enough is not right, just having enough can be a cause of your contentment, but enough means my wants are fulfilled, but I cannot be of help or of use to others. Sufficient. It is sufficient, but surplus means more than sufficient. More than sufficient. Sampannaha, the worlds became prosperous. With what? Shila di guna sampannaha. Ah, gunas means good qualities. All the world got filled with shila, means righteous nature. Righteous nature. And thus, lebhire nirvatim param. Everyone over there experienced happiness. It is only in this Vaidika religion or Vaidika dharma we will find a prayer Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya It is not only that the people of India should become happy no matter where you are the word Sarve encompasses everyone whether it is men or women, whether it is yellow, brown, white or black, whether it is educated, uneducated, whosoever, whether you are the mortals of this world or the immortals of the celestial world, does not matter. The word, the word Sarve Bhavantu means everyone over there. It is not only that Hindus should become happy and only Hindus should remain. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. No matter what your religious belief systems are, whether you are an atheist or a theist, does not matter. Whether you appreciate what we are saying or not, does not matter. Just by the fact that you are a living being, it is sufficient enough for us to say that may you be happy. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha. May everyone experience this joy, happiness, contentment in life. This joy, happiness, contentment is no one's monopoly. It is not the monopoly only of Hindus or anyone. Everyone and you are going to find this prayer only in the Vedas. Only in the Vedas. Where else are you going to find? And that is why we are saying that 
this is something which does not confine a person to smallness. In fact, it opens up a person, his horizons extend infinitely. Now in that survey, you can even keep animals, insects, birds, everyone. Let your happiness increase and not get confined. Let it not contract, but let it expand. And that's why we are saying, Lehire Nirbhutim Param. There is one line and a caution. Here it says, Nisatva Dolubarajan Nirudyoga Dhatrapaha Yada Chope Chita Lakshmana Babu Daityadana Vaham Pay attention to this, this is, this is very interesting. 